think that's a giant. I think that's a giant on the beaver. I have made it to the lake I'm gonna be fishing tonight. And the original spot I wanted to fish was taken up by somebody, unfortunately. So I actually had to go to another spot, a spot that I typically don't really do well at. And there was another person there. So then I had to go to the third spot, which is the least productive spot. And I already managed to catch a smallmouth and a nice one too. Nice one. Nice one. Haven't even done an intro yet. On the beaver. Has some small hooks, so I kind of have to grind on him, but... Nice small mouth. Not a bad fish to start off the night. On the beaver bait. Not gonna lie, I didn't have much faith in this bait. But, I'll take that. I've only maybe been here for about five minutes. I wanted to fish a different spot, but there's uh, something going on right over there. So, I came over here where I don't normally fish, and sure enough, I already caught a really nice smallmouth, about a three-pounder. <laughs> on the beaver bait. <laughs> that is funny. Didn't think it was going to work, but smallmouth, I guess like beavers can you blame them though who doesn't like beavers yeah you're free there there she goes so my hopes for tonight have already gone up quite a bit I really didn't know what to expect throwing this beaver lure from Berkeley, but I mean, so far, so good. Now, when I first saw this bait, I thought it was super cool that Berkeley came out with like this beaver imitation topwater bait, especially because I fish a lot at night and beavers are nocturnal. So I feel like that kind of goes hand in hand. The only thing is, this bait is pretty big for the size hooks on the bottom of it. So I wasn't quite sure about the hookup ratio, but I've had one blow up so far tonight and I caught it. So one for one on the beaver lure. But as you guys can tell, I have my waders on. So I'm gonna be doing some bank fishing tonight. And typically I don't really fish from the bank too often because I don't really know very many spots that have good access from the bank. Now, where I'm fishing is super shallow for like the first 30 yards. But once you get past the first 30 yards, it really drops off. And that's where the smallmouth like to hang out. And a couple largemouth, but mostly smallmouth. So, I'm, so that's why I brought my waders today. I'm gonna wade out as far as I can. And then I'm gonna start casting with the beaver. But I'm not going to be doing anything fancy, just a slow and steady retrieve. And like all my night fishing videos, I'll leave the light on for as long as I can. But if I feel like I'm missing fish, or it's attracting too many bugs, or there's just too much fog, then I'm going to turn it off.
Got him. Got him. Definitely a small mouth. Now, how do I land him though? This is the issue because this is a big small mouth. Please don't spit it. All right. Look at this football on the beaver bait. This thing is short, but this has to be two pounds because how fat it is. Oh my goodness, what a nice smallmouth on the beaver. Smallmouth. Love this thing already. All right, hookup ratio is pretty good so far. Two for two. Look at the current taking my bait. I can just let my beaver sit out there and I'm not doing anything right now. The current's just working that bait for me. And I got this beaver tied to 17 pound monofilament. It's a mean rock bass, I bet. Uh, no, it's this big, small mouth. It just did not fight at all. <laughs> yeah, it's just a weird looking small mouth. Looks like this smallmouth has like scoliosis <laughs> or something like this or that. Not a bad smallmouth though, about a two pounder. It's probably why I didn't fight very much. It's just biting me. There you go, bud. So I've made it to the fourth and final spot tonight and I've never caught a fish here bank fishing at this particular spot but hopefully that changes tonight on the beaver. Now I'm fishing a spot that's a little bit more weedy and shallow and a little bit more filled with lily pads instead of like more current and rocky. So in my unprofessional opinion, this is where I would hook into a largemouth. I think that's a giant. I think that's a giant on the beaver. It is a ridiculously nice largemouth. I told you I was in an area for largemouth. What a giant. Wow. 
that, if it was a fatter largemouth, easy six. But a little over five, the way she looks right now. Wow, look at the size of this gigantic bass. If this thing was filled out, easy six. But like I said, kind of on the thin side. Look how long it is though. That's 22, 23 inches easy. Came up and slurped it. Solid large man. That's another one down on that beaver lure. But another largemouth here in the shallow. Definitely a little bit smaller. 